never thought I would find myself in this situation. My name is Emily Thompson, a 32-year-old woman with hazel eyes and chestnut hair that fell in gentle waves around my shoulders. I had always prided myself on being a supportive wife to Daniel, my 35-year-old husband with his sandy blonde hair and piercing blue eyes. We had built a life together filled with love, trust, and what I believe to be complete transparency. Our cozy suburban home was a testament to our shared dreams and aspirations. As a freelance graphic designer, I often worked from home while Daniel excelled in his demanding career as a marketing executive. Though his frequent business trips kept us apart, I believed they were a necessary sacrifice for our future. One evening, as the soft golden light of the setting sun spilled through the windows, I sat at our kitchen table, sorting through the day's mail, bills, advertisements, and the occasional invitation to a neighborhood gathering littered the surface. But one particular envelope caught my eye, a plain white envelope with a familiar hotel logo on the corner. Curiosity peaked. I tore open the envelope to reveal its contents, a hotel reservation confirmation addressed to Daniel Thompson. Confusion nodded my stomach. Why would he need a hotel reservation? Was there an important business conference I hadn't been aware of? Unease settled over me like a heavy blanket as I turned to the internet seeking answers to the questions that plagued my mind. With trembling fingers, I typed Daniel's name into the search engine, hoping it would yield some innocent explanation. My heart sank as the search results unfurled before me. The truth hit me like a thunderbolt. The man I trusted with all my heart had been leading a double life, a life filled with secrets and betrayal. The evidence sprawled across my computer screen, detailing his affair with a woman named Isabella. The realization struck me with the force of a thousand waves crashing upon the shore. Fury mingled with heartbreak as tears welled up in my eyes. How could Daniel do this to me? How long had he been deceiving me? Questions swirled in my mind, but there was no time for answers. It was time to take matters into my own hands. Daniel, I called out, my voice laced with an unusual mix of anger and sorrow. Can we talk now? Daniel entered the kitchen, a hint of confusion etched on his face. Sure, what's wrong? I took a deep breath, summoning the strength to confront him. I found something, Daniel, something that shattered the image of our perfect life. His eyes widened in surprise his expression shifting from confusion to concern. Emily, what are you talking about? What did you find? With tears streaming down my face, I held up the hotel reservation confirmation. This, Daniel, explain this to me. Explain this to me. Explain why you've been lying to me about these business trips. His face paled, his features contorting in guilt and regret. Emily, I, I, I can explain. It's not what you think but I couldn't bear to hear his excuses. The truth was there, staring me in the face. The illusion of normalcy had shattered, leaving behind a broken heart and a resolve to seek justice for the betrayal I had endured. No, Daniel, I said, my voice quivering with a mix of pain and determination. No more lies. The truth is out, and now it's time for us to face the consequences of your actions. The revelation of Daniel's infidelity had plunged me into a whirlwind of emotions. Anger and heartache battled within me as I delved deeper into the web of deceit that had entangled our once seemingly perfect marriage. It was time to unveil the truth and confront Daniel head on. Days turned into sleepless nights as I scoured the internet, seeking any information I could find about Isabella, the woman who had become Daniel's secret lover. Piece by piece, I unraveled their clandestine affair stumbling upon incriminating messages in shared photos that painted a picture of betrayal. One evening, as darkness settled over the house, I mustered the courage to confront Daniel once more. His usual aura of confidence had diminished, replaced by a restless tension that hung heavy in the air. Daniel, I began, my voice quivering with a mixture of hurt and determination. I know about Isabella. I know about your affair. He winced his gaze falling to the ground. Emily, I never meant for this to happen. It was a mistake, a terrible mistake. I scoffed, the bitterness in my voice evident. A mistake. You've been lying to me, deceiving me for who knows how long. How can you call that a mistake? He sighed, his voice laced with regret. I don't expect you to understand, but Isabella, she made me feel alive again. Our relationship had grown stagnant and I was weak. 
His words cut through me like a knife, intensifying the pain that already consumed me. Weak? Is that your excuse? So instead of addressing our problems, you sought solace in the arms of another woman? Daniel's eyes met mine, filled with a mix of guilt and shame. I messed up, Emily. I know that. But please, let's talk about this. Maybe we can work things out. I shook my head, a bitter laugh escaping my lips. Work things out. How can we work things out? How can we work things out when trust has been shattered? You've betrayed me, Daniel. There's no going back from that. He reached out to touch my arm, his voice pleading, Please, Emily, give me a chance to make it right. I love you, and I never wanted to hurt you. Tears welled up in my eyes, a storm of conflicting emotions raging within me. Part of me yearned to believe his words, to cling to the remnants of the love we once shared. But the weight of his betrayal weighed heavily on my heart. I need time, Daniel, I whispered, my voice barely audible. Time to process everything. Time to decide what comes next. As I walked away, leaving him standing in the wake of his own deception, I knew that the road ahead would be treacherous. Revenge had not yet crossed my mind, but the seed of retribution had been planted. The illusions of normalcy had been shattered, and the journey towards healing and justice had only just begun. With the truth of Daniel's betrayal exposed, a simmering anger fueled my determination to take control of the situation. It was time to assert my power and ensure that his actions had consequences. Revenge became my guiding light, propelling me forward with a mix of satisfaction and sadness. The first step in my plan was to strip Daniel of his ability to support his secret affair. I gathered all his credit cards, feeling a sense of empowerment with each one I added to the pile. With a trembling hand, I made the decision to block them, severing his access to the funds he had used to maintain his double life. As I sat at the desk, my fingers flying over the keyboard, a hint of a smile tugged at the corners of my lips. The click of keys echoed through the room, a symphony of retribution. It was a small act, but it would limit his financial resources and force him to confront the consequences of his betrayal. Next, my attention turned to his belongings. I moved through the house with a calculated purpose, meticulously packing his clothes, gadgets, and personal items. Each item held a memory, a fragment of the life we had shared, but now they represented the betrayal that had shattered it all. A sense of both satisfaction and sorrow mingled within me as I placed each item in a box. This act of removing him from my life physically felt like a cleansing ritual, a way to purge myself of the pain his actions had inflicted. And so I carefully labeled the box, addressing it to Isabella, the mistress who had unknowingly become the recipient of his possessions. As the package was sealed and ready for shipment, I couldn't help but wonder how Isabella would react when she received it. Would she be taken aback by the sudden arrival of Daniel's belongings? Would it be a catalyst for her to question his commitment to their relationship? The thought brought a bittersweet smile to my face. Although revenge was not a path I had ever imagined myself walking, it provided a twisted sense of justice. I had taken control of the situation, reclaiming my power in the face of betrayal. Days turned into weeks as I awaited Daniel's return from his supposed business trip. The anticipation grew within me, mingling with a newfound sense of liberation. No longer would I be the naive wife, waiting at home, oblivious to his infidelity. The tables had turned, and I held the reins of our relationship. Finally, the day arrived when Daniel stepped through the front door, oblivious to the storm that awaited him. His face wore a mask of exhaustion, unaware of the revelation that awaited him. I stood in the living room, my body tense, yet resolute. Welcome home, Daniel, I said, my voice steady and filled with a quiet strength. We need to talk. His brow furrowed in confusion his tired eyes searching for answers. Emily, what's going on? Is something wrong? I met his gaze, my eyes reflecting the pain he had caused. I know about Isabella, Daniel. I know about your secret affair. No more lies. Shock washed over his face. Guilt etched in every line. Emily, I, I can explain, he stammered. But explanations were no longer of interest to me. The trust we had shared had been shattered, had been shattered, and there was no turning back. I had already exacted my revenge, and now it was time to move forward to rebuild my life without him. With a newfound resolve, I met his gaze and simply said, It's over, Daniel. It's time for me to find happiness without you. As his words faltered, I turned away, 
leaving him to face the consequences of his actions. Revenge had brought a temporary satisfaction, but it was only the beginning of the journey towards healing and self-discovery. The road ahead may be challenging, but I was determined to walk it with my head held high. Days turned into weeks and a heavy silence hung in the air as Daniel and I navigated the aftermath of his betrayal. The once vibrant energy of our home had been replaced by a palpable tension. Each passing moment, a reminder of the fractured foundation upon which our marriage had been built. Throughout this period, I sought solace in introspection and contemplation. I questioned my own role in the unraveling of our relationship, analyzing the signs I had missed and the trust I had missed and the trust I had blindly bestowed upon Daniel. It was a painful process, but it allowed me to find the strength to move forward, to face the truth with unwavering resolve. One evening, as the fading sunlight cast a melancholic hue across the room, I knew the time had come for the final confrontation. Daniel had returned from work, his weariness etched on his face, while my heart beat with a mix of trepidation and newfound determination. Sitting on the edge of our living room couch, I took a deep breath and turned to face him. Daniel, we need to talk, I said, my voice calm yet tinged with an undertone of sadness. He nodded, his eyes reflecting a mix of remorse and longing. I know, Emily. I've been trying to find the right words to say. I gestured for him to join me, our gazes meeting in a moment of shared vulnerability. There's no need for words, Daniel. The truth is already out there. We can't undo what has been done. His gaze dropped, guilt washing over him once more. I never wanted to hurt you, Emily. I made a terrible mistake, and I regret it every single day. The weight of his remorse hung in the air, intertwining with the remnants of love I still harbored deep within me. It was a delicate dance, the push and pull of emotions that defined the complexities of our relationship. I believe you, Daniel, I replied, my voice filled with a mixture of sadness and compassion, but trust is not easily mended. It takes time and effort, and even then, it may never be fully restored. He reached out tentatively, his fingers brushing against mine. Please, Emily, let me prove to you that I can change, that I can be the partner you deserve. Tears welled up in my eyes, emotions threatening to spill over. It's not just about changing Daniel. It's about whether I can forgive, whether I can find it within myself to trust again. Silence enveloped us, the weight of our words hanging heavily in the room. The truth, raw and unfiltered, had laid bare the shattered fragments of our once idyllic marriage. And now we were left to pick up the pieces to determine if they could ever be reassembled. In that moment, I realized that forgiveness was not a decision to be made lightly. It required introspection, healing, and a level of vulnerability I was not yet ready to embrace. The road ahead was uncertain, but for the first time since the revelation of his infidelity, I felt a glimmer of hope, a flicker of possibility. I need time, Daniel, I whispered, my voice filled with a mix of pain and determination. Time to heal, time to find myself again. Only then can we decide what comes next. He nodded, a mixture of understanding and regret etched on his face. I'll give you all the time you need, Emily. Just know that I'm here, willing to do whatever it takes. With that, we sat in silence once more, the echoes of our conversation mingling with the weight of our unspoken truths. The journey towards healing and reconciliation had only just begun. And as uncertain as it was, I knew deep within me that I was on the path towards discovering my own strength and the capacity to forgive. 